looking live at the beautiful Porta Corsa, Italy on the Italian Riviera that makes a magnificent setting at today's race for the World Grand Prix. I'm your host, Bob Cutlass, and joining me is my great co-host, Daryl Karcher. We are proud to be here today. You're right there, Bob. With its secluded beaches and casinos, this got to be one of the largest and most luxurious places in the world. This is truly a playground for the rich and wealthy. Speaking of the rich and famous, we have a special guest joining us in the booth for this event. Everyone, give it up for Frosty Winterbottom! Thanks for having me, man. It's an honor being up here with you two, Legend. It's great having you, but what can you tell us about this track? I'm glad you asked. This track has been made to cater to all races, strengths, and weaknesses to equal out the playing field. Right you are, Frosty. The fast, long straightaways will give the LMP and Formula cars like Francesco Bernoulli the leeway to absolutely run away with it. Don't forget the technical turns of the course. Them right there will certainly give me fellow GT competitors like Lewis Hamilton a strong chance for the lead. Hold on there, gentlemen. You can't be great in all certain aspects. But if you're even at least decent in every category, you got a way better chance of winning. Well, good old round racer would be useful for you. And that's where lightning strikes. McQueen's got the horsepower and skill to take the win today. Another racer to look out for is Rip Klutchgonski, who ran the best practice lap out of today's field. It's amazing he's been here. Bludgeon doesn't even have any championships under his belt. Nevertheless, it could be anyone's race. Well, it's time to find out. The racers are locking into the grid. Italia, it is often said that I am faster than lightning. Get it? It is a joke for you, Lightning McQueen. Oh, is that so? Well, bring it on! are settling in as they make their way to the Italian countryside. Oh boy, this is gonna be a great race. That Sheila color maintains that lead as we head higher into that mountains. Hang on boys, here comes the dirt. Slipping and sliding, baby. Oh dear, it looks like the leaders are being brought to a crawl. And there it is. Lightning McQueen is the first to take advantage. And will leave many like him downhill. Look at them go! They're happier than the mosquitoes at a blood bank! We slide back onto the asphalt and shoot downhill towards the city. Looks like the supercars in the back got the chance to make up for all their lost ground. Looks like Francesco's going to need this more now than ever. McQueen takes us into that tricky turn as the crowd goes wild. Whoa! Francesco cuts off Rip! Oh, that mongrel! He caught him two positions! takes us around the hairpin as they race off to the Casino Bridge. Francesco is hot on his tail. Francesco takes advantage of the inside line and takes the lead. Shoot, put a rookie burned some rubber to allow that Veloso to pass. Coming back towards the line, Francesco will take us into lap two. Looks like the dirt track section didn't up on Camino as he goes to the pit. He lost a lot of ground doing that. Meanwhile, the leader is taking us to the countryside. Is it me, mates? Or does it look like Francesco has better control in the dirt? That ain't gonna stop McQueen from reclaiming the lead. And just like that, Francesco is back to the number one spot for pure speed. Oh, this mark! Number seven is loose, Shoe Todoroki! Crikey, look at that damage! From the looks of it, cause of this wreck was a tire blow from Shoe. Definitely from his move in the tunnel earlier. All racers have been called back down to the pits while this gets situated. Best backwards driver, Toe Maters, race onto the track to help these poor blokes. What a brave one he is. We will be back after these messages.
Welcome to this quick segment of Chicks Picks. I'm Chick Hicks with analytical number cruncher Natalie Certain. One, we all hope you're enjoying the race. <laughs> I know I'm damn seeing McLoser get destroyed. He's barely hanging on out there. I would have won the race by now if I was there. Yes. Anyways, I would like everyone to take a look at these numbers for the viewers of this channel. A whopping 80.2% that watches this channel aren't even subscribed. Yikes, and I thought my win-lose ratio was bad. You know, Chick, a lot of time and effort goes into all these videos to come out. And for the channel to continue to grow and improve constantly, we need our fans' help. <laughs> That's true, Natalie. Without their support, my pretty face might never be seen again. Viewers, if you really like what you see, please like and share the video. Fun fact, we're only less than 50 subscribers away from 13k, so also subscribe. We greatly appreciate it. Also, go pick up a shirt. They almost look as good as me. Check. What? We all got bills to pay, and props ain't cheap, you know. <sighs> Remember, everyone, like, share, and subscribe and enjoy the rest of the race. <laughs> yeah. And hey, McQueen, if you're watching this, I hope you know you're gonna lose. <laughs> ah! Welcome back. The racers are relining up at the grid for our final lap. The news has come in. Shutaroki will be able to continue, but is starting in dead last. And Mac Chanel will not. But his team will. Officials have decided to give Chanel's team a chance to enter an available backup racer. Fans, welcome to the track. Our champion off the Mion engine, Rongi. With that, we are ready for our final lap. Here comes the lights. And we're off for our final leg of the competition. Francesco takes the early lead as we head into the dirt. This is McQueen's chance to grab the lead. That bloke can drift. What a turn of events. Now the real battle for the lead begins. They're side by side onto the asphalt. Fans gotta be on the edge of the seats watching this. McQueen desperately looking for a way to make the pass. But he has no choice but to trap. Lechkonski and Velosa follow close behind. Francesco maintains the lead towards the beach. McQueen and Francesco are loose. Here comes Ripon and takes it. Coming to take the checkered flag. It's going to be number 10 of New Rear India, Rip Klutchkonski. What an amazing move by the rookie himself. I guess after today, he's not rookie anymore. He's finally one of us, a champion. Thank you all for tuning in to today's race, and we can't wait to see you all next time. I'm Bob Cutlass. Have a great day.